Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the elusive tool, the pen tool. It's arguably the hardest tool in InDesign, but it's one of those that is amazing to know once you actually get past the hurdle of learning it. It will allow you to edit so many things and not be confined to certain shapes. The pen tool is found underneath your type tool. So you have uh, the pen tool and it, within the pen tool you have four different tools. The pen tool, the add anchor point tool, the delete anchor point tool, and the convert direction point tool. We are going to go over all four of these and we're also going to utilize the direct selection tool, the white arrow. So turn on your pen tool. The first thing you'll do is turn on your pen tool and you will start clicking around. So I'm going to click, 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 click and go all the way to the beginning. Once you go to the beginning, there's a little black circle that appears in the bottom right of the tool that tells you that this is the beginning of the line. And if you click at this point, it will close your shape. So now I have created a full shape. So if I turn on my black arrow, I can grab this shape and move it around. I can fill it with color. I can reverse that and make it just a stroke only. I can increase my stroke, do all the things because this is now a shape that I have created. I can also use my direct selection tool and click on any of these points and adjust them to do whatever I want. I can also go to my pen tool and delete an anchor point. So I can hover over any of these points and delete. Or alternatively, you can add. So add an anchor point tool. You can click on the line and then grab your white arrow and select that point. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better here. Whoops. So there's the points that I made. You can click on those points and adjust them. Keep in mind that they, you can only move a point when it's white. So if it's blue, you need to click off and then click back on the line to highlight that point to make it white. All right, zooming out. So the pen tool, I'm going to delete this shape. The pen tool can also do curved lines. So on the first shape, all I did was click and I'm going to hold down shift and click to create a straight line. So holding down shift creates a straight line. If I click and release again, I have a straight line. I'm still holding down shift, click and release, click and release. I have a rectangle. I can also, you know, again, move the shapes, make them, make it perfectly straight angle uh, to make a, a perfect shape. That is by clicking and releasing on the pen tool. If I want to create a curved line, I click and drag to create handles. So the middle point is the anchor point. The blue items on the left and right are the handles. When I create these handles, I want to drag to my next, I want to drag the handle in the direction where I'm going next. So I'm dragging up because I'm, I'm going to put my next point up and I'm going to drag down because I'm putting my next point down. So you always drag in the direction where you want your next point to go. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go down. Dragging up again. Clicking and dragging down. And then I can turn on my black arrow. Let's turn on a stroke to have my curved line. You can then go back with your white arrow and adjust these points. I'm going to change this to a different color so it's a little bit easier to see the points. So I can go back and I can adjust the handles to make it a different curve or I can drag my point down, click on that point, adjust the handles. 
and so on. You don't want to try to edit while you're using the pen tool. It's best to just get all the way to the end of the line. If you mess up somewhere in the middle, don't worry about it. Just get all the way to the very end of the line and then edit from there. So I'll turn on my black arrow that turns off the pen tool essentially. And then you turn on your white arrow to begin editing all of your points to get the, the look that you're going for. So within this, you can also um, delete the points like you did on the shape. So you can go to these points and delete them to create a straight line. So I can go all the way through, delete everything, and now I'm back to square one with my straight line. If I want to get rid of the handles, you use what's called a convert direction point tool. So if I click on the Convert Direction Point tool, I can do a couple things. I can make my handles go in different directions. So I can go up on this one and down on this one. So they're not working at the same time. They're like they're each own they're their own handles. Or I can get rid of the handles totally and hit the point and release. That way there are no handles at all. It is now just a straight line with no curve at all. So I can get rid of the handles there as well. So how does this work for you? If I am working on, let's say this is a magazine spread, let's make it up as we go. So it would fold right here. These are two different line, two different pages, but I want them to be all connected with some kind of rolling wave at the bottom. You would use that with the pen tool instead of going on Google and trying to find that shape that you're looking for. You can draw it. So I'm going to click and drag going up because that's the next direction I'm going to go. Click and drag down. I'm going to go click and drag to the next direction where I'm going. That's the biggest thing that you need to know. And then when I get to the line at the edge, I'm just going to click and release. No dragging because I want it to be a straight line. So click and release. Click and release. And go back to the beginning where I have a little circle at the big at the bottom right of the pen tool and click and release. Now I have a full shape. If I want to make any edits, this is when I do it. I don't edit in the middle of a pen tool because it's harder to do that than it is to just edit at the end. So I will move my points around and edit to achieve the look that I'm going for. So I can now add a color into that shape and let's say I want to duplicate this I can um, copy paste let's do a different tint on the front and make like a wave like a 3d wave kind of look if I turn on preview mode this is what I it. So it connects the design. This gives me an opportunity to put some kind of different text down here or maybe um, an image file right here. I could do, um, I could even do an image within this little shape if I wanted to. The pen tool makes it absolutely unlimited what you can do.